Today on deck, we've got the 6S Arma in Fraction V2, and we're going to do a quick <laughs> upgrade, somewhat quasi-modification to it. And this upgrade basically deals with the underside of your infraction. Now, if you want to keep your infraction looking nice and neat and cool and add a little bit of flair to it, I think you want to stick around to watch the rest of this video and see what we get into. But as always, as normal, yo, we got to pay those bills, fam. So roll that intro footage. Thanks to everyone for sticking with us, checking out the channel, subscribing, liking, and commenting. For all the new subscribers that are on the fence, check out all the previous videos. I'll pop a card up to some playlists now. I think you'll like what we've been doing. And a special thanks and congratulations go out to our most recent contest winners. That's Brett, Matthew, and Josh. They got a Element and Dual Trail Runner body. They got the Super Rock Ray body and wheel set, and they also got the low CG battery tray from Bauhaus Race RC. Three people, three winners, free swag, no cost to them. They're shipping out right now. Hopefully they receive those soon. So now, on to what we're talking about today. You see we've got the 6S Arma Infraction in front of us, and what we're going to be doing is taking a look at some products, or a product, from Dark Side studioarts.com. That's darksidestudioarts.com. And what that is, is it's going to take care of, again, the bottom of your infraction, specifically the bottom of the chassis here. If you have a brand new infraction like I do and you want to keep it looking nice and neat, it's going to be a real simple install. Really, it's going to be a simple install for anyone. You just have to take your time. We're going to do that today. But if you have an infraction, and I believe also a felony because they share the same chassis and you got some scrapes and nicks and you want to kind of clean that up and give it a different look, this is going to be for you as well. So the wrap that I'm going to be installing today, this is the afterburner chassis wrap. This not only fits the infraction, but it, it fits the limitless and the felony. So the chassis for the limitless, the felony and the infraction all are pretty much the same. And this wrap right here will fit those chassis. And all it is, this is a 22 to 25 millimeter thick, high gloss, high sheen wrap that fits perfectly, sticks down with adhesive to the bottom of the chassis. It has, and you can't see it here, but it has a bunch of cutouts already pre-scored for all of your fastener holes in your chassis. So you don't have to worry about this covering any of the screw holes. This will lay down perfectly over and still give you access to remove any item from the chassis should you need to in the future. Some of the items that you're gonna to need to install this. You're gonna need a craft, hobby, or exacto knife of your choice with a sharp blade. And this is mainly used to help remove, there's little holes here, so once you, you pull this away, you want to remove all the little holes so you line up over all your fasteners perfectly. Not necessary, but makes it easier. You can use some tweezers as well, but an X-Acto knife. You want to have some isopropyl alcohol. You also want to have a spray bottle that has a mix of water, dish detergent, and a little bit of alcohol. And what that does is the water and the dish detergent, that's gonna allow you to move around and position this uh, cutout, this, excuse me, this wrap onto the chassis. The alcohol is gonna help that evaporate faster and adhere a little quicker than it normally would without it. Also, you're gonna need, but not necessary, which I went ahead and picked up on my own at the advice of the guys over at Dark Art Studio. This right here is a primer pen, primer 94 by 3M. All right, and the reason why, and I'm sorry, you can't see this because it's white in the lighting, but I'll show a little close up of it as I talk about it. The reason why you want to use this is there are some dips and indentations in the chassis, the bottom of the chassis of the infraction or whatever vehicle you're using, that is going to cause this particular wrap is going to be very difficult to stick to because they kind of go in and flatten out. So you're going to use this on the chassis after you've cleaned it with the alcohol in those little areas where you have dips and curves. And what that's gonna do is promote adhesion better than the tack on the back of this wrap will do on its own. This is highly optional, but recommended because it's gonna help you get a better adhesion. 
All right, I got these small pins from Amazon. They're very small. They're only 0.66 milliliters or 0.022 fluid ounces. So you get a bunch of them. I got a pack of five, I believe, for maybe probably way too much, six or seven dollars. But according to the cats over at Dark Art Studio, this is going to really help promote the adhesion in those areas where you have dips and bends in the uh, in the chassis. You'll also need one of these squeegees that doesn't come with your wrap, but if you have one from a previous wrap that you've done, or maybe a credit card, or something that's got it that's pretty pretty solid, has a smooth kind of rounded edge to it that you can help lay down, you know, this wrap when you're getting into those corners, that will be beneficial as well. So also right now, I believe they're running a special, a discount through the 21st, I believe, of this month. And if you use the code VIP10, you can get 10% off of your order. Now also, you'll notice these X's right here. These like little cartoony X's, but if you get in close on it, you'll notice that these are not just X's, they're little band-aids, so to speak. So after you put this wrap on your chassis and maybe you ding it up in a bash session or, or whatever happens and you wanna kinda clean that up, cover that area, Instead of removing this whole uh, wrap and getting a new one, you have uh, six of these little band-aids right here that you can use to cover those little spots and it'll make it you know, last a little bit longer. So there is an instruction manual. So if you need to see the instruction manual or the video, there's a QR code right here you can scan. It'll take you out to the video. You'll see a step-by-step, -step. not my video, the video by the cats over at Dark Arts. Excuse me, I keep saying dark side, dark arts. It is dark side studio arts that's dark side studio arts and it'll show you how to install this on your infraction so now we're going to move over to the bench
fam, that's it. That's the end of that install. Very simple, very easy. I figured there's no need to talk throughout that whole ordeal, just show you how the application process goes. And here's the finished product. Now this is gonna take about, I'm gonna say 24 to 48, maybe less than that, maybe 12 to 18 to fully cure, all right? So you want this to fully cure before you go out and use it, but you can see it kind of cleans up and gives you a little contrast to your vehicle. Now you also notice that up front here, whoops, up front here, I cut off this piece here, which would have fit basically, let me get that in. Turn this around, would have fit right about in here. Okay, it didn't serve a purpose, and this is probably for the Limitless, I'm not sure, but it didn't serve much of a purpose, so I just took my X-Acto knife, hobby knife, and cut it off. I could have left it, it would have been fine, but I took it off because I didn't need it. Now, one thing I did fail to mention up front is this, when you receive the wrap, it does not come flat like this. It, this comes in, this tube. So before you start the installation process, you want to take this out of the tube, go to the room or the location where you're going to do the install, roll it out, get something that's weighted, and lay it flat. And so it stays flat at least 12 to 24 hours. I did 24 hours. And by the time that 24 was up, this sheet laid perfectly flat with no curls. Doing that is going to ensure that your installation is a lot simpler because if not, this is going to be all curled up and it's going to be a little bit harder for you to adhere it. If you've ever installed any sort of wrap or decal before of this nature, you know that using plenty of liquid, which I did, plenty of soapy water with, I put a little alcohol in it, which is going to help it evaporate faster, is going to help you to reposition this decal. I'm off in a few places, very small amounts off, but it really doesn't affect anything. I did go back with my heat gun and applied some more heat to the entire decal and I wiped it down, sprayed a light mist on it, used my squeegee to get as much of the water out to help it dry faster from beneath it. But since it's cold outside, I'm not going to be doing any running. It's going to dry well on its own. Ensure that you don't get a lot of water up into your spur here. You don't want that to rush to corrode, but get most of the water away after you've done. In addition, you saw me show these ru uh, rubber gloves. Don't use these rubber gloves. And I'm going to tell you why. You may have seen it in the video. These rubber gloves like to stick to the surface on the back of these decals and it would make it hard for you to do the transfer and to lay it down. So the reason why you spray the back of the decal first with your soap, water, and alcohol mixture is it will prevent your fingers from sticking to this surface. With the rubber glove, with that soap, water, and alcohol mixture, it's gonna make it stick even more and you'll be pulling your hand away. Rubber glove is gonna be stuck back to it. So that's another tip. Also, this 3M Primer 94, this is a throwaway, all right? That's why you get so many of them. It only has 0 0.022, that's 22 thousandths, I believe, of a fluid ounce in each tube. So it's a throwaway. And this one tube is plenty to get into those corners. When you purchase this, and I'll pop a link at the bottom, you'll get about five tubes per pack, depending on who you get it from, and the link I send to you. It's a throwaway. Keep these for the future. If you have any more decals or wraps to comply, apply and you have some areas where it's some tight corners and curves, this along with heat and the squeegeeing is going to help you apply that mask even better. So again, it's just a throwaway. So don't worry about, you know, saving because there is no cap. Also, you, there's a little black dot on here. You can't see it, but there's a black dot right here. You saw me in the beginning of the um, install video. I took my fingers and pinched. You want to crush this. There's a glass vial in here. This releases the chemical mix into the applicator and allows you to put it on. Very simple. So fam, that's it. Easy, simple install. They have a bunch of different patterns. I just chose this one because, you know, I used to be in the Air Force and I like this design. I have another design in that tube I showed you for another vehicle. We'll be putting that on in a later time, but you have a bunch to choose from. And remember, I believe now through the 21st of February, 2021, if you use the code Victor Indigo Papa, 10. That's VIP 10. You'll get 10% off your order. And I believe shipping is free right now as well. So fam, that's it. We've got the dark side studio arts wrap installed to the underside. Get that light out there. Installed to the underside of the infraction. 
cool, simple, easy install anyone can do. And if you have an infraction or a limitless or a felony and your bottom, your chassis is all scraped up, you want to bring it back to life a little bit, get one of these decals. If you want to protect your chassis a little bit longer, if you have a brand new one or if you haven't ran it that hard, get one of these decals. VIP 10, 10% off. Fam, we've come to the end of another one. I want to thank you again. Appreciate you coming by. Appreciate you sticking with us. And as always, I am Jay of Jay Sinister Productions, exiting stage left. Jay Sinister Productions. <laughs>